What's going on everybody, it's your boy Moho back with another tutorial video for you guys. As promised, this video is going to be the Moho Jump. Uh, one of the things that I do want to touch on you guys with this video is that it is not a strafe jump, it is the Moho Jump. The reason I call it the Moho Jump is because I created it back in COD 4. So, with that being said, I'm going to show you exactly what it is. That right there is the Moho Jump. It may not look like much, but when you're playing and you do it yourself, you can feel how it works. That is the Moho Jump regularly, just get behind cover. This is the Moho Jump into the prone, which is what I, I like to call the Moho Drop Shot. Um, I will explain how to do all those after this, but one of the key factors in doing the Moho Jump is the left to right motion. It's kind of like what you do for a strafe jump. So you go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right to get the momentum. Um, you have to get this technique down because if you don't have the momentum, you're not going to get the speed. And that's what the mojo jump is, is the speed that you jump to get to the left of the crate or wherever you're going. It just gives you the speed to get there. What you just saw right there was the mojo jump, but you can sprint. That is what separates it from just a regular jump because that's a regular jump right there. And it takes you a second just so you can sprint again. So by doing so, as you just seen, that was a regular jump. By doing the moho jump, you can do the jump and then sprint right away after you get done jumping. Um, one of the things that you guys have to understand that is when you do the moho jump, when you guys are, you know, so certain that you're getting it, you'll be able to jump a certain distance and you'll be able to sprint right after you get done jumping. As opposed to a regular jump where if you were to jump, you can't sprint right away. It gives you that um, one or two second uh, time period before you can actually sprint. So there is technique. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is kind of confusing. Uh, I do wanna let you guys know how to do the moho jump is basically what you do is if you wanna do the regular moho jump uh, to get behind cover or just do whatever you wanna do with it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to run, sprint. You wanna kinda put your joysticks to the left and then swing right if you wanna go right. Uh, same thing for the left. If you want to go left, you would swing your joystick to the right and then swing left. When you're doing your swing motions, that's what gives you your momentum. So keep in mind that that is very important. Um, now the technique, the second technique to do the mojo jump is what you do after you get the swing motion. You want to slide your fingers from A to B back to A. Now the reason I say doing that is because when you do it, you crouch. So when you're jumping, it ultimately makes your body a little bit smaller, more compact in the air, as opposed to just having a full body standing straight up. But what I mean by tap A again, is you wanna do that so your feet touch the ground. So it's kinda like canceling out uh, your jump. If that kinda makes any sense. I know it's, a lot, it's, it's confusing, but it, it makes a lot of sense if you really think about it. Um, when you do a regular jump, you, you hit the ground, your feet touch the ground, and your knees bend. So you guys got to make sure that when you do this moho jump, you're canceling out the jump. The feet touching the ground and your knees bending. You're canceling that out by tapping A. So it's kind of like you're gliding. And that's why when you guys watch my videos, you're like, wow, I mean, oh, this kid's gliding. And that's exactly what I do. Um, so please, guys, tell people that this is not a strafe jump. It's not. There's more to it. There's more technique. It takes practice and you know a lot of your questions is can I play on tactical and do this no um, you can't because you need to be able to crouch and stand up and crouch and all that type of stuff uh, you have to play on default um, and be honest with you guys default is better you know you don't need the drop shot I mean on land a lot of people try to drop shot but jumping is, is a lot better than drop shotting so I don't know maybe I'll do a tutorial on that as well but that is how you do the moho jump guys just remember slide your fingers from A to B back to A uh, get the left right motion going so you get momentum to get speed uh, Make sure you try to practice this as much as possible It's not one of those things where you can just hear me do it and or hear me tell you how to do it And then you guys can do it. You have to practice um, And yeah, you know, thank you for watching the video. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I can put these videos out for you guys um, Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter I'll put all the links in the bottom of the description box and uh, thank you. See ya